We gotta find out who that ghost was. Hello, Scrooge. Mag Sork over here. There's the ghost right there. The Hollow City. This place is seriously really cool, guys. It's very isolated and alone and kind of scary almost, to be honest. The Groundskeeper. Very few would dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. Thank you. That's what I do. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. We've been waiting for you, plane walker. I don't walk on planes. What are you talking about? Who are you, anyways? You may refer to me as the groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost care. And where are we? The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molag Bal. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Harbor. It just needs life to return it to glory. And this is where I'm supposed to gather my army. It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Harbor. For Molag Bal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended. And that is the way it is. Please walk with me. So Let me show you why this city will serve your needs. I want to know specifically why Molag Bal can't basically reach in here. So hopefully she tells us all of that stuff. I'm pretty sure she is, but let's see. I'm ready. Lead on, ma'am. Watch and listen. I am. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. The history of the city permeates these streets. And with a bit of magic, I can reveal it to you. Now come. Let us walk. After you. Oh, I was about to say, is she gonna move or what? Hello? Long ago, this city existed in Nern. It was alive and vibrant and went by a different name. And why won't you tell me this name? I wanna know, I'm legitimately curious. Are you gonna say anything else? devoted to Prince Meridia, the Radiant One. They lived in peace and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. Uh-huh. But Meridia has enemies. Okay. The despicable Molag Bal. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. Wow, she's horrible at telling stories, I swear. Finish your sentence. Or your paragraph, or your just your story in general. The city's defenders did what they could. But they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered. But the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. Okay, so we're getting somewhere with the story. As fortune would have it, the alien king Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, <coughs> he quickly took command of the city's defenses. I hate her storytelling. The alien king single handedly protected one of the gates. Oh, that's As him. He, fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, 
but she also saw an opportunity. <laughs> Molag Ball's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Hold Harbor. Another awkward pause. Rita awarded the city and pushed it into Hold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the alien king was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Ball's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Okay, that's a pretty interesting story, although the way she told it was just horrendous. They foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise. An overconfident Molag Ball. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. Uh huh. <laughs> finally! I that the day <coughs> has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian. The alien king, and you, our last best hope. You must gather your allies and bring them here. Okay. This city shall serve you well against Molag Ball. Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. It shall be reborn with every person you save. Forged into a weapon by your own hands. Ooh. Is that real or is that just a part of the story? Like, if I do things outside in in Cold Harbor and I save people, would they come here and... I guess, uh, inhabitate? Uh, inhabit? In, I can't talk right now. Live here. That'd be cool if it, if it is. And what's your role in all of this? I <coughs> am your advisor. I mean, she could at least look at me. I offer you what help I can. The hollow city awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, and it shall not fail you. So then what's our next step, Miss Advisor? You must gather those who were lost. King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. Return the Hollow City to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molag Ball. Sounds good. Let's complete this quest. You shall require more than just the king and the <coughs> age, of course, but they are as good a starting point as any. Others in this realm, allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. So... Really quick, before I go on, I do want to apologize a little bit, uh, kind of somewhat ahead of time since we've already started this, this series, uh, this part of the video, of course, but I kind of have like the sniffles and somewhat of a cough. I wouldn't say I'm sick or anything like that, but it, it is, uh, it, it is, you're probably going to hear me like sniff a lot, you know what I mean? So there's that. Uh, once again, I apologize ahead of time just because you're probably going to hear it multiple times throughout this video. But, we'll see. Alright, others? As you seek out the mage and the king, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust, and who would be willing to join us here. And the mage and the king? Where will I find them? Go west, <coughs> beyond the moonless walk. There you shall find the Aeliad king, held within a tower of darkness. Vanus the mage is somewhere in the eastern plain. His exact location is hidden from me. So west and east is where we're going. Okay, uh, so the Aeliad King is west, 
And the mage is east. Okay, so we might as well go west first since that's just the first thing that was presented to us. We might as well go west. Uh, find the alien king and banish the mage. I recommend heading west first to find the alien king. I mean, that's what I was going to do. But the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the lights of Meridia. The lights have the power to unlock his prison of darkness. Uh, the lights of Meridia? <laughs> Originally, the lights were a gift from Meridia. Power that protected the city and made life easier for its inhabitants. When she pushed the city into Cold Harbor, she filled the lights with even more of her divine power. So this is a war between Meridia and Molag Ball then, it kind of feels like. And how will I use these, uh, and how will I use them to free the king? King Dinar <clears throat> is trapped within a tower of darkness, bound by shadows and dark magic. Meridia's lights can unravel those bonds. Without them, you won't be able to set the alien king free. Where can I find these lights? As you no doubt noticed, Morlog Ball's realm has its own defenses. Things that teleport onto this plane tend to get scattered. As were your allies. As were the lights. They could be anywhere. But most likely, they are guarded by Morlog Ball's forces. You don't have anything more precise for me to go in on? Rumors only, I'm afraid. Yeah, advisor. I've heard tales of a strange prison to the northwest. A tower that is not a tower. That guards one of the lights. And others whisper of a vile laboratory to the southeast. That distorts the purity of Meridia's light. Northwest and southeast. Okay, goodbye. Northwest and southeast. Tower, is that this thing? Northwest... The lightless. Why do I get the feeling it's here? And then west. The Black Forge. The Great Shackle. That sounds. That sounds like it might be it. So let's go here first. See what we could discover there. We could probably hit this and this. Uh, these two way shrines on the way. Whoops. Maybe. It is literally directly west. It's perfect west. While I'm here though, I might as well train my horse. Where's the... I saw it a second ago. Where did I see it? Oh, I think I see it. It's right over there. Oh, wait. I think it's non-existent. It says right there that that's the horse stables, but is there no stable master here? That would suck if there isn't. Are you the stable master? Absolutely not. Yeah, I don't think there's a stable master. That's probably what she meant. We have to probably go save the stable master to be able to... to, to come here, basically. Or to train here. That's pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So, let's wait a second. Are we out of the city? Yes, we are. So, we follow the road. We'll be able to get to the way shrine, no problem. This, the first one, at least. That might be it right there, actually. No, it's not. You're alive. That's wonderful. Can we talk? Protection of Kinrith Vanos? That's Vanos, not Vanus. I thought that was part of the quest. The Library of Dusk. So where's this way shrine? What does it look like? I've seen it before, but I've only been here once. It's not a place I like coming to very often, but it still looks cool nonetheless. Oh, is that this thing? Is that... that's it? Okay. So that's one way shrine down. If we continue following the road though, we should be able to let's just let's just put the tracker here and see where it leads us. There's a main zone story quest here. 
which I'm not currently interested in. We will, once we finish the stories and the DLC stories and stuff, we're going to go on and do every zone stories upon your request, whichever one you guys want to see first, probably. I, I don't know how we're going to go about it, to be honest. But uh, it'll be fun to 100% each zone after I'm finished with all the DLC stories, you know? Because something I want to do, too, something that's almost impossible to go through is to hear the story within dungeons. So I probably want to, uh, I'm probably going to get people from my guild, which is uh, Tamriel Armistice. Uh, it's a really fast growing guild. We're already at 133. I am playing in the middle of the night, so it's only seven people online. The majority of people play on during the day, but yeah, I'll probably get people to, uh, you know, hook up or group up and then uh, do dungeons together. What is this? Is this what she was talking about? No, it wasn't. Can't be. So the thing is right there. So let's go there. But first, I gotta get this way shrine. This looks more like a way shrine. Did it not? I guess I had to click on it. So we're almost there. That kind of looks like the Imperial City almost. Doesn't it? <clears throat> I love Imperials, man. They're my favorite race. I know, I know, very boring, but still. How do I get in there? Gotta be careful with that troll. No, really, how do I get in there? Uh-oh, there's a Lamia, or whatever they're called. Uh-oh. Yeah, legit, I have no idea how to get in there. I probably have to do that thing that she was talking about in the Northeast. Yeah, because we're going way out of the way now. Or Northwest, I think she said. I, I don't know. Let's continue going in this direction. Maybe we'll find something. Hmm. We're bound to find something, right? Alright. This place is kind of creepy, man. These Lamias, the way they whisper and stuff, it's... It's kind of disturbing sometimes. So, maybe it wasn't the right place. So, let's find... Somewhere else. It probably is right there where that bridge is. I kind of wish the, there was a map marker that told me exactly where to go because I have no clue to be honest. We'll, we'll figure it out, hopefully, and if we don't, I'll resort to a magical thing called Google. It's a beautiful thing, to be honest. <laughs> Shut up, Bastion. Bastion's like maxed out right now. He's already at level 20, so I'm kind of uh, training him in alternate, you know, gear. So he's he used to be heavy armor. Now he's uh, medium armor, and he's rocking a bow. So he's pretty. It's pretty cool. He's a little range guy right now. No, thank you. Not interested, sir. Not interested, sir. Get away from me. Where, where, where am I supposed to go? She was so, like, broad in her statements that, really, she just said northeast. No, that's got to be a zone quest, right? Hold up. What? You! Why can't I- Why can't I attack him? There we go. That's the last of them. 
I have no idea what's going on right now. All right. I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna say that I did it. Did it all. Okay, it's up there. Oh, that's the tower she was talking about. That's the tower. Okay, we're going in there. That's where she was talking about the light of Meridia. Oh, I can't wait for patch 32. A lot of sets are being uh, turned into like hybrid sets. So I'm going to have a lot of options for this build because this character is very much a hybrid build. And uh, yeah, this is it. It's going to be pretty exciting to be able to try on new new gear, you know? What? What is she... Uh... Take a ball to the face. Get out of here. Just slapped her across the face. Do I need a quest for this? I'm honestly not entirely sure, but... I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Hiya! Let's go. I'm like the worst DPS ever, dude. I'm so used to tanking that I literally forgot how to play. 432. Hello, 432. <laughs> okay. Nice. There's literally someone in prison here. And he's playing the flute. But alright. I'm pretty sure I need a quest to be here, man. That's gotta be it. And the quest is way below, apparently. I missed the quest. This is a- this is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Luckily though, we killed everyone. I need to fix my gear. Like, pretty bad. I should have done it when I was back in the city. <clears throat> okay, I'm not worried about looting right now. I gotta get back down there so I can get this- this quest. Bastion, I need you there, buddy. <laughs> My dog's literally hollering right now. They get like that every single time they hear like police sirens or the ice cream man or really anything. They're husky, so they're like very dramatic, you know? Anybody who's ever had a husky knows exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, there's a lore book. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you guys. Bastion, great sniping there, buddy. Okay. Back for these guys again. Ow. That hurt, dude. Maybe I should get these books. Destruction Staff. Probably won't be using that anytime soon. There's a bunch of other books, but... Can't get... Kind of, sort of, can't get that. This is probably not even where I'm supposed to be. Uh, our trip to Cold Harbor has gone somewhat array. I do hope uh, this doesn't prove too... In doesn't prove too inconvenient... For dear lady Laurent, this girl again, she's so, uh, she so expects things to go smoothly. I find myself separated from the others 
And in the clutches of extremely beautiful Daedra, continue reading. The Daedra have been polite so far. Okay. Uh, if not a little last chivi, last last chivi, that word. Still, I'm not sure that I can fully trust them. You shouldn't. They told me. Okay, you know what? I should rescue Stibbins. Got it. Tracking. Rescue Stibbins. I want the main quest, though. So what am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. This can't be it, then. And then this looks like a whole different city. It's gotta be here. Because it kind of looks like there's like a somewhat of a divide right here. I'm pretty sure I can't go north and I can't go east from here. So this right here has to be the west and this right here, because you can see somewhat of a divide here too. This is the eastern side and then up north. So this, it has to be here. God, they are so annoying. Will I die? Let's find out. Oh, that made my stomach drop. My horse is so incredibly slow, it's insane. I really have no clue where I'm supposed to go. If I can't find it here at this location, I'm just gonna Google it because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Please don't hit me. I ran out of stamina. <laughs> okay, let's just go this way regardless. Well, of course I can't. <laughs> Where in the world are we supposed to go? Of course, man. There's enemies everywhere. I can't even ride my horse. It literally has to be here, dude. Where? Do you see something that I don't? Oh, wait. Ruined passage. Could this be it? Could this be it? Ah! Honestly, I'm not- I'm not really- Hey, that's him! That- this is it! King Dinar. No- Yeah, it is! Oh, I'm so happy. You made it this far, just as I had predicted. I am glad to see that my calculations were not in error. Now, if you are ready, we have a prison to break out of. Let's do it! Well, that was cool. So how do I get in there? Uh... Oh! I didn't- I got close to it last time and it didn't show open. Whoa, it is so dark in here. How... Uh... I'm assuming we go this way? That's the prison, so that's where he's at. I'm assuming we have to go this way. I wish I could see. It's probably even darker for you guys. Oh, where'd you come from? Where? What is? I don't. Uh, it is so incredibly dark. I whipped him. That's it. Are you hurt? No, but it's so dark I can't see a thing. 
I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a quest here or something. The only reason why I know that guy's there is because you can see the uh, the health bar on top of him. Uh, hello. Take that, a Kamehameha. Okay, Bastion, you can take care of him. I can't walk fast. I'll let Bastion take care of it, it's okay. I didn't realize there was water there. I see a button though that I want to push. Okay, I guess I gotta take out all these bad guys first. Bastion, you monster! Wait, am I still in combat? No. I can't push this button. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I missed the quest. Man, this is all over the place, dude. Fairly confident I missed the quest. If I could see a thing, though, that'd be great. Huh. Let's try coming out here, because maybe there's a quest outside. Like, I know this is the right location, because he's right here. And it said that this prison was over there, but... There's, like, no uh, quest or anything. Um, wait, who's this guy? Oh, that's just a, another player. Let's take a quick look outside. If there's no quest outside, I'm literally gonna Google this. Yeah, I don't see a quest at all. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm, I'm literally gonna Google this. Okay, guys, so I read up a little bit, and I guess you gotta do a subsequent quest in order for you to be able to complete that part and I guess that's kind of what the lady was talking about that you have to get like a light of Meridia I read that it's in this place that I guess there's a quest here at the moonless walk so let's go ahead and go there see if we can find a quest in this little area right here and see how it turns out so we're here but I kind of sort of don't see a quest because that quest is rescue Stibbins hmm not really worried about the combat right now right now I'm trying to find a quest let's go towards the uh, way shrine maybe we'll find a quest there because typically that's how it happens. It's just like they expect you to like pick up the quest. Yeah, right here. Could it be this one? Let's find out. Uh, apparently left behind was abandoned after search the pack. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna click on it. The moonless walk. Is that the name? Reach men say that fires are only dangerous when they get bored. That's why we tell them stories and let them lick our food. Uh, moonless walk quest chain I honestly don't I honestly don't know I'm assuming this is it so I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess we're doing a sidetrack and we're doing some of the zone story quests these swords they must be a clue now where did those fools run off to I don't know first of all who are you This sword appears to have been uh, deliberately placed so that its blade points in a specific direction. How would you know that? It looks like the sword just fell down. Just saying. Let's try to avoid combat at least a little bit. 
There was no avoiding that when he was too close. Okay. Follow the directions of the blade. I'm going. Who is this lady? Just slaughtered. Nothing ever changes. You know what else doesn't change? War. War never changes. The extinguished campfire still warm. You. By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. I'm looking for my allies. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always do. So they're going to kill them? Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Why do you want to find them? Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. Really You're the one who said it. How are you going to find them? Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? Uh-huh. I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. If I can reach them before the hunters, they might just get out of this forest alive. So she's a good person. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. I remember this quest, by the way. This quest really annoyed me because you had to, like, follow these lights and... At least I think it was this quest. It was really annoying. I hated it. Hello? Hello? It's so desolate here, huh? There we go. Quietly walk away. Another campfire. A blade? This one points downwards. Oh god. Shut up with you and your stupid moonless walk. I don't know what that even means. Follow the directions of the blade. Got them both, baby. Let's go. Round two. I have no idea. I didn't even touch them. Pretty sure it was Bastion, but okay. Hey, I found you again. You have to be. I need you to help me. I I didn't do it. I swear. He was like this when I found him. Yeah, <laughs> of of course. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. My clan can be very persistent. Why is your clan hunting these soldiers? Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in these woods. I need to find... I need to help the Khajiit. There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. What do you want me to do? The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest. But you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows. All but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. How can I see the, the runners? You need to collect the bark of a spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light. And you should be able to spot the runners. Uh, I need to know more before I agree to this. Your friend is out there. Being hunted by my people as we speak. If you have questions, ask them quickly so we can get back to the task at hand. Also, I don't know you. Alright? I'm, I'm supposed to just believe you? Relax. Tell me about your people. My clan is ancient. Older than you can even imagine. Our tree mender tells stories of the before time. When we lived under the bright skies in the lush forests of Valenwood. How did you end up in Cold Harbor? According to the stories, the Daedric Prince unleashed his fury upon Valenwood. 
Instead of fighting back, my ancestors decided to offer their allegiance to the prince. And here we are. So your ancestors just basically gave up. Gave up. That's one way to look at it. Another way is to see a clan that wanted not only to survive, but to gain a significant advantage. The Shadow Walkers love power. In exchange for servitude, we were promised power over our enemies. But you're different. I explained this to you already. I'm tired of darkness and false promises. Molag Bal gave us power, but he keeps us trapped here. What good is power if we're stuck in this realm forever? I want to see clear skies and stars in the night. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but this is exactly what I was talking about. I hate this quest. I got lost a million times. Okay, that's one. There's gotta be more in the vicinity, right? You! Don't, don't suck me up. He sucked me up. That's two. Okay. So we need one more. Where's the last one? I found him. Um, next to a suck me up again. Let's go. That's over with, I suppose. It it is, most definitely is. So bring the spriggan back to Fer Ferniel. Hello. Did you get the bark? We I do. Have much time left. Here. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There, an old trick I learned living so long in this dreadful place. My friends thought it was funny to hide from me, so I'd use this to see them. It also has an interesting side effect. Side effect? While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. <laughs> but remember, the effect is temporary. It doesn't last long. So how does this work? Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect runs out, just touch another wisp. Sounds good. I love touching things. Okay. Uh... I don't... I don't see a shadow runner. Go across the alien bridge. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. And then maybe touch one of the things. Can we just touch another one? Uh-oh. Away with you, heathens! Okay, let's just touch this again. Oh, wait. That's it right there. Maybe I can just sneak through here without them seeing me. I could have sworn I heard something. It worked. I'm coming for you, bud. <laughs> Thank God he didn't see me. So is that is that the soldier or a shadow runner? I'm not quite sure to be honest. How can he not see me? I'm literally directly behind him. Uh-oh. Oh, they're definitely gonna see me. Okay, they didn't see me. Oh, God. Was that supposed to happen? I think that was supposed to happen. Okay, quietly. We're gonna touch this thing too. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't see me. First of all... How many times does he have to say the same thing? They could have at least scripted some new words. 
Oh, we ran through here before, didn't we? We did. I could have sworn I heard something. Oh my god, this guy's so annoying. I could have sworn I heard something. What's all that noise out there? Why are the creatures acting so strangely today? What's that <sighs> noise out there? For being a shadow walker, he sure is very loud, isn't he? Follow the shadow walker. Whoa! Oh, let's get the healer first. Wait, where did he go? I just saw him go this way. I'm pretty sure the uh, soldier followed him too. The snake, the Lamia. Don't be ridiculous, snake. The Khajiit needs expert help, and that means I'm going to provide it. Well, that's interesting. Kaji, Sergeant Kamu. This one does not understand the game the little elf and the shifting are playing. But we have something important to do. We need to get into this tower. The key to our victory. It's in there. I know this to be true. What are you talking about? We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. But Captain Alfari figured it out. The voice comes from this tower. Whoever is locked in there needs our help, and he will help us in return. What do you know about the Lamia? The wood elf started hunting us almost as soon as we stepped into this great forest. They killed Captain Alfari in cold blood. I barely escaped. The snake thing found this one, lost and injured, and led me safely through the woods. It's surprising that the Lamia were, are being... I guess, protective of this Khajiit, you know, Sergeant Kamu. And why are the Lamia and for, uh, uh, Farinil arguing? This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kamu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower, but Kamu doesn't trust either one of them. Head for the city to the east. It's safe there. I'll investigate the tower myself. A safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. Let me rest for a moment before I head out. I Do you... wish I could go with you. But until my injuries heal, I would only slow you down. Good luck, my friend. Do you have any advice before you head to the city? This one doesn't know very much about this area. But this one always has opinions. Ask what you will, and I will answer. It's the least I can do. Well, thank you, my friend. What do you know about the Wood Elves? The little <clears throat> elves are ruthless killers. We know. They call themselves the Shadow Walkers. As far as this one can tell, they hunt and kill anything that enters these dark woods. They never even gave us a chance to beg for our lives before they killed our Fari. What about Farinil? Kamu never saw her before. She stepped out of the shadows, but she didn't attack immediately. It is apparent to this one that she is anxious about something, and she seems eager to help <coughs> us. Perhaps too eager, if you know what Kamu means. I do. That's why I was a little suspicious for from the start, really. And I love wood elves, but they're a little shady people, especially with the green pack. And the kind of stuff they do to, you know themselves really they're cannibals uh what do you know about the lamias when we were searching the woods we ran into a few snake things they attacked us when we got too close they never seemed to actively hunt us though and of course that snake thing over there helped Kamu. i did notice something else however and what was that when we were resting at one of the campfires a group of snake things rushed toward us they didn't attack us. They charged the elves sneaking around our camp. The two groups don't seem to like each other. They may even be at war. That's interesting. If I decide to ask one of them for help, who would you choose? Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. <laughs> there is no good answer. But if we were seeking allies... 
Kamu would choose the elves. They are strong and capable. They could be a great help against Molag Boss. <laughs> but not the not, not the Lamias? Well, the friendly snake thing did help me. We shouldn't dismiss them out of hand. They lack organization and fighting skills. But Kamu can't deny their ferocity. Perhaps they are worthy of consideration as well. You are no help, Kamu. Goodbye. Okay. Let's hear them both out. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I agree. I can help you, though. No one knows that power better than I do, but I need to ask for your help in return. It's important. What do you need my help for? You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower, assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us and let us return to Valenwood. But that's never going to happen. How can I change the minds of the Shadow Walkers? Like me. You've been outside this forest. You know about Molag Bar's plan. You know about the plane meld. You have to tell them that our agreement is worthless. How can we ever return to Nern if Molag Bar destroys it? What about the Lamia and her people? Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you. But only if you aid me and convince my people. Why should I help you and not the Lamias? You've seen my people fight. We're trained to kill. It's what we do. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe if you can show them that Molag Bal has been using us. Lying to us. Maybe they'll see his treachery for what it is and join your cause. Well, let me talk to the Lamia first. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I can't even pronounce that name. Help you enter the tower. But first, you must help us against these foul wood elves. Do not listen to their lies. They murder our children for no reason. Please, you must help me save the little ones. She's playing the uh, baby's card. Our poor little baby snakes. First things first, she looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, she looks great. That looks cool. Uh, wait, hold on. But backtrack first, all right? The wood elves are killing your children? We never asked to be dragged <laughs> to Cold Harbor. We never made a deal with the Daedric Prince. But ever since we got here, the wood elves raid our nests and slaughter our children. This cycle of murder needs to end. Uh, why do you need me? You are a hero. You stride through Cold Harbor with confidence. And not even the Wood Elves can touch you. You can win this battle for us. And we will be in your debt. We will show you how to enter the tower. Even help you in your mission. What about the Wood Elf and her people? They are monsters. They destroy prey. <laughs> And slaughter my people. If you aid the Wood Elves, we can never trust you. The Lamias are powerful. We would be of great help to you, but only if you help us end our war with the Wood Elves. So, on one hand, okay, let's dissect this a little bit. On one hand, the Lamias or Lamias, or however you pronounce it, they have every reason to be upset with the Wood Elves because the Wood Elves are killing their people, right? So they want to end the war by winning the war, essentially, is what she's saying. But on the other hand, Fariniel understands this completely and wants the killing to end herself. So she wants us to go back to the Shadow Walkers and convince them to stop, essentially. And even though the Lamias won't like us for this, I think I think it would make more sense to side with Farineel. Only because if we're successful in convincing them not or to, to stop, then they I guess for uh to understand this, they both kinda sorta get what they want, even though the Lamias won't like us anymore. So I think I'm gonna side with Farineel. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I can help you though. Yeah. No one knows that you have to help me convince like me. Okay, yeah, I'll help you. We've been. I knew you would help me. 
I'll show you how to get into the tower. But first, you need to convince my people to end their service to Molin <coughs> Val. And to do that, you'll have to prove yourself to my clan. Okay. In order to help my people, you're probably going to have to do some things you may not like. You need to accomplish a deed of honor before they'll even let you near them. Otherwise, you'll be greeted by a hail of arrows. Okay, wait. First of all, wait, what? A deed of honor? I don't want to get into details with the Lania standing nearby. Meet me at the bridge to the east of here. I'll talk there. Just be careful. Any other Lamias you meet won't be as friendly as Zygnir. Can I meet you at the bridge then? I'm sorry. You disappoint me, outsider. Choosing to side with murderers and thieves instead of us. My people will no longer sit back and hope for peace. We will take our children back. You just watch and see. Look, I'm trying to end this as well. Relax. Just be patient with me. Even though you don't trust me, you should. Let's take the, the pony. Excuse me, coming through. Hopefully there's no bad guys. The next time next time I get to the city, I really need to fix my gear. Meet Farniel at the bridge. Okay. This is the bridge, right? Well, that was anticlimactic. There was like a little bit of a lag right there for some reason. Oh, oh, oh! That was scary. It was harder to get rid of Zygnus than I thought it would be. I have no idea what just happened. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, I remember. Alcohol? Before my people will even listen to you, you need to perform an honor deed. It has to be an act that benefits my clan. Something they would expect one of us to be able to accomplish. Something they would expect one of us to accomplish. What do you suggest? To really make an impression, you need to hurt the Lamias, kill them, burn oh their Oh my and god. Their champion. Even our strongest warriors haven't been able to accomplish that. Do these things, and that should be enough to get you an audience. Luckily, I have the persuade thing. Because if I could... Ugh, this is sad. I thought that I could side with her and it would be helpful, but they want us to kill everything. Luckily, I have this Persuade, and I guess just one is going to have to do, right? It sounds like just defeating the Lamia champion should be sufficient. Maybe. <clears throat> That's certainly more than any of my people have been able to do. It won't be easy, though. She's a powerful old snake. Her cave is at the highest point in the Lamia camp. Okay. Where's that? How far is it from here? Not too far at all. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight our way there. Defeat the Lamia champion. This is definitely going to be interesting to say the least. Watch her be like a two shot. That would be hilarious dude. So you're not even that powerful old snake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to avoid combat till I get there. I really don't want to kill these snakes man. They're just trying to survive you know. Can I just sneak around the back? Kind of. Not really. Oh god, what was that? Oh, it's one of those things. Let's, uh, be. That's it? They didn't even expect it. That was easy. Why are you screaming from the outside? Oh. That was cool, man. The way we handled that. We just jumped from the... Can you imagine minding your own business and... A warrior just randomly comes from like the roof and stuff. Lands on your head and starts destroying you and your two sidekicks. I mean... That would never happen, of course, but can you imagine? That'd be pretty insane. Uh oh. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, we're almost there. Uh oh. There's too much, too much going on here. Oh, we're back at the bridge.
So this is the outsider that Thoroneal has been dragging around the forest. Uh huh. Interesting. Talk to Farineal. Where? Oh, there she is. I wasn't expecting any of the Shadow Walkers to be here. They haven't attacked yet, so that's a good sign. Just don't do anything to make them nervous. All right? Eh, I won't. Maybe. Uh, why do you think the Shadow Walkers are here? Well, I told you that killing Lamias would get their attention. You performed an honor deed. They respect that. <laughs> Hopefully, that respect will last long enough for you to help me before they decide to kill you. So what do we do now? You stay here. I'll go see the council and give them the Lamia's head. That should be all the incentive they need to agree to listen to you. In the meantime, talk to the Wood Elves here. Any information you gain is just another arrow in your quiver. Good! I'll return shortly. You'll be safe here, I promise. Why not get to know a few of these Shadow Walkers while I'm gone? Will do. So, Idreloth. Idreloth. I don't remember the last time I talked to an outsider. Killed one, sure. I do that all the time. But talk, that's a new one for me. I was born and bred in these woods. Never ventured outside its borders. Always wonder what was out there. Help me convince your elders to break their vow. And I'll get you out of this place. You don't honestly believe you can do that, do you? My people made a vow to protect this citadel long before I was born. The elders are ancient and stuck in their ways. They'd never agree to break our oath. Well, I'm definitely going to convince them to leave. You can come with me. We get to see bright skies and clear water. I've only heard stories about such things. Listen, if you speak to Elder <coughs> Ethereal, show some compassion. Life on a council can be harsh and unforgiving. So, okay, I think he, I think he just gave me a tip. Elder Ethereal compassion. I, I'm not going to remember that, but I'll try. Ethereal compassion. Convinced her to give up her foolish plan, and then you showed up. Well, if she made it this far, we might as well try it her way. Yay! Any chance, no matter how remote, is worth the trouble. So, what do you suggest? Uh, what do you suggest I do to convince the council to listen to me? I, hope I don't live to regret this. Inril is the oldest member of the council. She's also the most willing to listen. But you have to show her some respect. Let her speak. Respond only when spoken to. That's all I can think of. Open elves. I'm so not gonna remember this. In real respect. In real respect. In real respect. You're lucky, outsider. The only thing keeping me from sticking my knife in you right now is our code. But if you think I'm gonna help you, think again. I will kick your ass. You want to draw that little tiny knife of yours and see where it ends up. <laughs> Yeah. You test my patience, fool. Be gone before I forget my manners and got you where you stand. I took the Lamia's champion head as a trophy, and I've still got room for a few more. I like your confidence, outsider. You've got some bark on your hide. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna need if you go up against Elder Glynn. Don't take no for an answer and keep pushing him. Do that, and he eventually gives in. I'm so not gonna remember any of this. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Gluin, push him. Okay. Last one. In real respect, Glynn, push. Enough to have beaten the Lamia champion, but even a mighty storm starts with a light breeze. Still, an honor deed is an honor deed. Maybe the Council of Elders will actually agree to meet with you. Anything I should keep in mind uh, when I see the Council? I'm not sure I should help you. But you seem to be on Farineal's good side. Maybe if I give you some advice, I'll get on her good side too. I recommend you try a little humor when you talk to Erthor. He is a dry old leaf, but he does like to laugh. Good to know. Good news. Laugh. The council has agreed to meet with you. The council will see you, but this won't be easy. You have one chance to convince them, so make sure you put your best foot forward. My people, our future depends on it. We can't continue to be prisoners in our own forest. Uh, any last words of advice before I meet with them? Dealing with the council can be tricky. It's a collection of individuals, 
each with his or her own idiosyncrasies. They are devoted to Molag Baal and our oath of servitude. It won't be easy to convince them to break those ancient promises. So there's a good chance that I'm going to fail. You can't fail. You just can't. Were the Shadow Walkers down here helpful? Do you need to talk to them again? When you're ready, just use the portal behind me. Present a good argument and make it count. Okay, I'm gonna re- I'm gonna talk to them- Fuck. They're gone. I was gonna talk to them one more time as a refresher. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Earthror, this guy's the one- This is a great privilege allowing you to stand here. Never before has an outsider been permitted to set foot on this platform. My daughter, however, was insistent that we speak with you. We shall hear what you have to say. This is the guy that speak bef uh, when spoken to, right? I hope. <laughs> Farindil said that uh, a contract binds you to Molag Ball. Yes, we have sworn to protect the passage that leads to the tower known as the Lightless Oubliette. In exchange, we have been given the gift of shadow walking. When our contract is fulfilled, the Daedric Prince shall send us back to Valenwood. Okay, let me see. So, this is... You don't want to insult this guy, apparently, right? Because according to what the other guy said. And this makes him look stupid. Uh, I see how well that's worked out so far. What, a few hundred years when you have uh, fun, right? So, the first one seems like the more logical answer. I understand your situation, but with all due respect, I think you have been tricked. Respect is a luxury I cannot afford. I need proof that Molag Ball lies to us. Do you have such proof? Can you show it to me? My lord, even Molag Ball actively works to destroy Nern. There will be no Valenwood to return to. I have heard your words and I shall think upon them. Please, speak to the other elders and tell them of your fears and concerns. Okay, I think, I think we might have been successful. Oh no, hold on. Inril. Okay, let's... This is the one that was push. Spew forth your lies and be quick about it. I have a great many things to contemplate today. Molag Ball is using you, uh, and he's going to destroy uh, Valenwood. You need to leave now. That annoying Farnil has convinced you of her fable, <coughs> hasn't she? I tire of this old argument. But you did perform an honor deed. I shall give you one chance to convince me that we are being duped. Go ahead. I really hope this works, man, but... This is, if I remember correctly, this is the guy that we were supposed to push. So, you don't want to talk to him with respect. Uh, and this is a logical thing to say, but with him, if it's the, the guy that I'm thinking of, logic wouldn't be the thing. Pushing him hard would be. So, lose the attitude and listen well. I've seen the anchors. They're destroying Nern. Do you understand me? You speak with confidence and conviction. Very well. I shall consider yes. your words. A persistent fool may know more than an isolated genius. We shall see. Oh, we're making progress here, baby. Inril. So she, she's the one... You've accomplished much, outsider. Survived the moonless walk, performed an honored deed. Well done. I shall listen to your words and consider them with great respect. I promise you this much, at least. Now, tell me. Why are you here? <coughs> Molag Ball has lied to you. He'll never let you leave. Help me and you can return to Valenwood. You must understand. To simply accept the word of an outsider, to turn our backs on everything we believe. You ask much, stranger. Still, Farenial has been insistent about the very same concern. <laughs> Tell me something to sway my opinion. Okay, so, open your eyes and stop being a fool. That was the other guy. Uh, throwing a party of destruction, but you weren't invited. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, Bella will be destroyed unless we do something. I think. I think this is it. Uh, I'm and I'm going for it, my lady. Cold Harbor chains. Uh, Cold Harbor's chains rips through Nern. Bella will be destroyed unless we do something. This news. 
disturbs me. Thank you for sharing this information with us. I did it. Speak to the other elders while I consider what you've said. At least I think I did it. Got one more. I can't remember who, this one. You poor child. Dealing with those Compassion. Lamias as you navigated the moonless walk must have been so unnerving. Such horrible creatures. Now, <laughs> sad little Farnil mentioned that you bring us news from Nern. What is it? Molag Ball plans to destroy Nern. His invasion his invasion has already begun. Such terrible news. But how can I know that what you say is true? It makes no sense. Why would Molag Ball destroy our beautiful and beloved Valenwood? This does seem a little compassionate because thousands have already died. You must I'm going with this one. This was just rude and disrespectful. Maybe a song and dance would convince you? You have to trust me. There's no logic behind you. have to tr uh, trust me. Look, I'm not an idiot. You came to Cold Harbor for fun and relaxation. I came. That's just disrespectful and insulting her uh, indirectly, of course. I'm sorry, but I've seen the Daedric an uh, anchors with my own eyes. Thousands have already died. You have to believe me. The poor animals that roam the Valenwood. The people. I I shall consider what you have told me and pray for an end to the pain and suffering. <coughs> Thank you for sharing this news with me. You're welcome. We have heard enough. Use the portal and return to my daughter's side. You've given us much to discuss, outsider. Don't tell me what to do, elder. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I want to believe I'm successful. <laughs> You're back. Tell me everything. Did it go well? Were you able to convince them? Well, I don't know for sure. I think I did well. But I spoke to each of the elders. They're discussing what uh, what to do as we speak. Of course they are. That's what the council does. <coughs> Sometimes I think that's all they ever do. But do you think they're going to help you? I did my best. All we could do is just wait and see. Of course you did. I know you did. Now we just have to wait. Ah, someone's stepping through the portal now. Oh God! Here comes the council. That was quick. Outsider. Yes. Set forth and hear the decision of the council of elders. I'm not a party, you guys. You better stop talking to me like I'm your subordinate. The council has discussed what you told us, debated your words from every angle, even drew upon Farineel's arguments from past meetings. Understand that we did not reach our decision lightly. Oh, no. I don't like the way he said that. And what did you decide? The council can no longer ignore the truth happening around us. For too long, we obeyed our vows and waited for a reward that will never be granted. <gasps> Should we continue on our path, even after Valenwood is destroyed? So what exactly are you saying? It means that your argument has convinced us. Yes! I sent runners to unlock the ruined passage that leads to the tower. My daughter said that you were interested in the place. I will also send a group of soldiers to aid you against Molag Ball. Woo! Thank you. I won't draw my sword against you anymore, I promise. Fair enough. What did my father say? Did you convince them? The council has agreed to help. You must be ecstatic. Yes, you did it. You really did it. I've tried for so long to convince them, and now we can finally leave this wretched place. I can look upon a real sky. What did my father tell you to do? I like her a lot, dude. She's such a sweetheart. Look at her face. She's so cute. Oh my god. Uh, I need to go to the tower. He sent someone to open the door. When the council finally makes a decision, they act with speed and certainty. I can see that. I suggest you head for the door to the ruined passage as quickly as you can. I'm going to talk to my father. I want to be a part of the group we send to help you. That'll be great, actually. I'll protect you and you can protect me. And Bastion. Forgot about Bastion. Wait, where's... Oh, so it's over there. How far is it? Oh, that's it. We're finally going to the place where we're supposed to go. Well, let's go. 